Hello guys, welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode we explored the planet Kyablo 3 and won ourselves the Captain Quark Hodder guys. And we're going to use that guys disguise to infiltrate the Deplanetizer. So we're back on the Deplanetizer and we're going to go infiltrate the Deplanetizer and get to Chairman Drek and take him out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to get, get Captain Quark Hodder guys out and we're going to stand on this bunker. stand on Ratchet because there are some quite funny one-liners when you stand on it. Lack of muscles, Lack of muscles detected. That's just when you know we're not using Captain Quark. Some of the genius one-liners we have. Attacking or jumping will deactivate the holo guys. Hello, Captain Quark. You look very heroic today. Thank you. Hey. No, Let me in, please. I, I much prefer using the holo guys in this game than I did in the original Ratchet and Clank game because Ratchet would use a um ro a robot disguise. Ratchet would move around so slowly and it, it kind of killed the pace of the game a bit for me, if you ask me. Upper body, Upper body inadequate. Yeah, some of the genius one lines of robots come up. Robot technology comes up with. Also, you need to be very careful here as well. So if you get caught by the guards, you won't get away with taking them out because one of them will activate. This own force field and a red laser will come up from the ceiling and crash down on you. Honestly, try your hardest not to get caught. Hey friend, let me in. Let me in. Thank you very much. So how am I going to take this guy without getting the... Right, he's gone. Well, I just need to quickly take this guy. I'll use the Bud's Blades. I hope any weapon will do. Okay, he's gone. Blood Blade's a lot weaker than I thought at the moment. I really need to get them upgraded a bit, I think. Okay, he's gone. Good. What is this room? Is that Chairman Drek's new planet? Yeah, it looks hideous. It must not be complete. Thank you. When is Captain Quark ever a hero? He's the worst superhero in existence. He is so overrated. I'm on an urgent mission from Chairman Drek. Open. Thank you. Quickly get back in the hollow guys because there's gonna be more robots in here. I knew there would be. Good job I saw that coming. So what I need to do is... Where's my Groovatron? No, get off! Woohoo, that was close. Okay, that didn't go exactly to plan, but at least we're not dead, though. That's good. Okay, I must not let them activate that alarm. Get out of here. Okay, he's gone. Oh, that was close. Well, at least I've not been spotted yet. The door is locked. We should find another way through. Yeah, I've got an idea. I know how to get through. There's a bit of climbing we're going to do at this point. Good job, Chairman Drek built some of these in this ship. It's going to be very handy for Ratchet to use these to get to where he wants to be. Oh, there's a robot. Oh, crap. How am I not going to let him see me? I'm just going to take him out. There's no other robots around, so I'm just going to batter him with my wrench. How many shots is this going to take? There we go. Finally died. Okay, what weapon shall I use now? Let's get a weapon I've not upgraded yet. So I think we'll use... Hmm. Let's get a Bud Blade upgraded. I could definitely do it getting those upgraded. Identification successful. Welcome, Captain. Is there right yet? There's robots down here. I'm definitely not going to quit disguise just yet. So where's the alarm? 
there it is. So I need to get that guy away from the alarm. I need to find a good time to do it. Where's my protodron? Okay, he's gone. Now where's my butt blade? Feel the wrath of the blades. I just hope I don't the alarm doesn't get activated by accident. Oh, <laughs> that's close. Good job there's not loads of enemies now. I feel I'm going to have to use something stronger than this. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, he's gone then. I love this weapon when it's upgraded. It's so powerful. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. To be on the safe side, let's get the Groovatron out. And get these guys dancing. When the Groove Tom makes sounds, it does remind me of the BBC show Pointless. It reminds me of the theme song the show has. If you live in the UK, you'll probably be familiar with a BBC quiz show called Pointless. I like that show. It's quite entertaining, actually. Can I get us upgraded in time? Come on. I'm almost there. I think this should be the last guard. Once got yep. So far, I've not been spotted yet. How good is this? So where's this going to take me? I could do with a bit more nano. Oh, just what I wanted—the nanotech. I could do with some more ammo as well. Very handy before we enter the next part. Uh, holler guys. This Chairman Drake sure loves himself. Look at the statues of him around here. So there's the alarm. So in this case, what I'm going to do is get the Groovatron back out. Start dancing for me. Can I see how much damage this does? Burn away his body. Okay, I knew there was going to be reinforcements around here somewhere. Whoa, get away from the switch. Okay, the Groovatron's gone then, clearly. Uh, right, let's get the bus blades out. As they're dancing, we can get this upgraded. A little bit, hopefully. The display gun is cool, but it was definitely a much better weapon tool to destruction. Get away from the switch! Oh my god, that was so close. How did he not press the button? So we're done got to get this out then. Deal with them much quicker. Jesus. How did that robot not activate the alarm? He was right next to it. He was standing there for a couple of seconds. Oh, oh that's close. That I think was a bit too close. What's up here anyway? Is that I think we might head in there in a minute, if we can. Perhaps we'll be in there in a minute, as we head further through the ship. So that's the way I'm meant to go. Oh, look, guys out and trick people. Are those bombs? I need that guy to turn around. I'm not going to risk and go to every single platform, because it will take a while. He will catch me if I try to just if I try to go on the other platform. I wonder if I can wait. I don't think I can wait. I have to be on this platform by the looks of it. Hello, open. Hello, now turn around. Bombs just went off. That was seriously a one-shot kill. <laughs> Nice, I'll use that more often, I think. Okay, so how am I going to get that guy distracted? Perhaps he might turn around in a minute. Hmm. Two I will do then. Nope, perhaps I won't do that then. Here, yeah, I've been spotted. Get off! Nah. Okay, that is a good self-defense mechanism. 
Fast Catty Hawk can walk along this. Oh, he can walk along this. Oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, shit. I'm out of here. Bye. Your laser field won't catch me. I didn't realise Captain Quark could walk along this. Okay, at least I know. At least we now know how to get past. Well, I'm not gonna let that bomb hit me. I want. I bet Captain Quark's biggest fans already brought a Captain Quark. Holler, guys! Imagine if I was one of Captain Quark's biggest fans. I just cause it was just going through all this trouble so I can meet my biggest idol. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to knock him off the edge in there. There we go. He's gone, just like that. Was that Raritanium? Yes, it was. Ooh, let's see if I can buy the Sheepinator now. I think that's all the weapons in this game brought. Okay, see what else I can upgrade. Play a fusion grenade. Hmm. Okay, let's get this upgrade. We may as well. Let's see if I can get his gun upgraded by the end of the game. Okay, there's a few more guys. How do they not hear the noise in the other room? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly get the Groovatron out. And the Pixelizer. It's called the Pixelizer HD when you've upgraded it to its maximum level. I think I just realised that. Let's see how much damage the uh, Plasma Strike can do. It was a one hit kill last time on these robots, although it isn't right now. Perhaps the robots guarding the switches are a bit weaker then, perhaps. So I'm going to... Oh, let's get this out. Get out of here. Oh, this weapon's going to be a beast when I've upgraded. Oh, I, just, I just need some more ammo for it, though. I'm pretty sure the rare titanium I could upgrade the ammo capacity on this thing. <sighs> right, tell you what. Uh, where's my flamethrower? Let's get rid of all these guys. I don't know if the dogs, the dog robots can activate the alarm. But just in case they can, I'm not going to risk it. Risk them getting to the alarm. They couldn't in the original Ratchet and Clank game, I know that much. All the dogs would do if they spotted you was just try and attack you, that was it. Instead, the, the guards would try to get to the alarm so they could take you out. the enemies activate the alarm in the original game it would have like this red ball would come after you and it'll eventually hit you if it hit you it was a pretty much a one hit kill actually no was it well no I don't think it was one hit kill but it could take her out quite easily because you didn't, you didn't have much health in the first Ratchet and Clank game but in this game it could take her out so easily with with the um the force field security uh where's my oh more ammo Get out of here. Oh, no! Get away from the switch! Who and he's gone. Now then. Let's hack into this terminal. I'm just gonna auto-hack this because I'm lazy. Got it. Looks like the gravity stabilizer is inside the ship's core. Warning, unauthorized holo guys use detected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like the holo guys won't fool them anymore. Nope. Holo guys ain't gonna fool them anymore. I think this is the way to go, I believe. So which way? Do we have to head all the way back? So we have to head that way by the looks of it. Anyway. Let's get boot. Um Let's see if my if I can get this this gun upgraded. I'm going to try and get my great all the weapons I great as much as possible before we get to the to the final boss of the game where we get to take out Docs and Nefarious. 
As you probably would have guessed, Chairman Drek is not going to be the final boss because the Nefarious used a sheep plate on him and turned him into a sheep at the end of the last episode. Uh, let's get a plasma strike and kill him. This game really is so addictive. I bet the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is going to be far more addicting than this. I also read the other day that it's, go it's not going to fight change level you don't have to go on the ship and like go from planet to planet like that instead you'll just to go from one planet to another you'll just go through another rift and it'll take you straight to another planet insomniac wants that for the, for the lack of loading screens that's why insomniac decided to do it it's quite a cool idea they got for ratchet and clank i thought this was going to be the last ratchet and clank game i thought we weren't going to see a ratchet and clank game for a very long time the ratchet and clank rift apart was really announced. There was one point in the game actually where I thought um, there was one particular part of the trailer where Ratchet and Clank went, went for a rift that took him into a futuristic city and I thought that city for, for a second was Haven City from Jack and Daxter. Imagine in the game if Ratchet and Clank do bump into Jack and Daxter at one point. That would actually be pretty awesome. All Insomniac would have to do is just literally make that happen in the rift apart for the game to already exceed my expectations okay so let's get this Groovetron ready and let's take all these out the Groovetron is so handy it's such a nice distraction it was first introduced in tools of destruction it wasn't in the previous trilogy of Ratchet and Clank games I played before this on my channel it was never in Ratchet and Clank 1, 2 or 3 it was introduced in Tools and Destruction ever since it's become such an iconic weapon because of how handy it is. Honestly, it really is such a handy weapon. I love the Groovatron. It gets them all dancing and before you know it, you can take them all out. They'll be e they'll be easily distracted. Let's get another Groovatron out. Uh, what am I going to use this time? The Sheepinator. I don't know if it's going to be that powerful in a minute, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, This could come in handy. Although I am seriously low on nanotech right now. Come on, come on. Come on. F turn into a sheep. Back! Get the last one. I think this should be the last one, hopefully. But I really need some nanotech more than anything. It's taken a while. It's actually quite a good weapon, the Sheepinator. It's really effective against little, little robots as well. You can take them out instantly. Yes! Got him. More blog? Where? Right, I'm going to get the nanotech quickly. Excellent. Feel the wrath of the Sheepinator. I took Chairman Drek out with this. Well, Dr. Nefarious did actually. I don't know if they're aware yet, Dr. Nefarious took them out. Took out Chairman Drek with the Sheepinator. Ratchet can turn dog robots into sheep so easily. Look at this. Man, is this going to be like a little ship of sheep by the time Ratchet's finished with this place? Imagine if there was a sh dangerous ship like the Deplanet Tires and then when the Galactic Wrench went infiltrated, all they saw on the ship was like a group of sheep. Imagine that, if that was the story of the game. You're seriously sheep trying to build another planet? Okay, I want to try and get this guy. Oh, yes! This weapon's a beast when it's upgraded. I could definitely do it getting this upgraded. I don't know if it's going to be effective at the boss battles, but I'm really enjoying this weapon, so it's unlimited ammo, so screw it. Let's use it. Let's get this upgraded. Why not? If all weapons are literally out of ammo, just use this. I don't think this gun works on the boss enemies, though, unfortunately. Whether it deteriorates the health or not, I don't know. But I don't think it's going to work, in all honesty. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Come on, turn into a sheep. There we go. Come on, being a sheep is way better than being a robot or a blog. Oh, let's get a Groovatron on them actually. Now I can turn them on that. Now I can turn them into sheep without any hassle whatsoever. Oh, okay. Now they've stopped dancing. I don't know if the Sheepinator was in the original Ratchet Clank trilogy, but I didn't know Ratchet Clank 2 and 3 had like the gun that would turn enemies into ducks. Quack quack. I think you remember which gun I'm talking about. I don't know if I used it in my Ratchet Clank 3 Let's Play, but you definitely could unlock a weapon like that. Um, okay, let's see. Let's just use this and take them out. It turns out the Sheep Nator doesn't do much damage, but it just eventually will just turn them into sheep. If I get bored using the Sheep Nator, I'll have to take all these guys out. Actually with no health deteriorated whatsoever. Come on, just die already. Tell you what, screw I'm just gonna kill them. I'm not gonna waste my time any longer with them. I need some more now tech. Please be some now tech around here somewhere. Yes, there is. Oh, good job. I picked some now tech up. Oh, no. Right, he's gone. Good. Right, let's get some nanotech. This is turning into a very tense battle right now. Where's my shipinator? I'm no. I don't think I'll ever get bored of using this. I never used to think much of this weapon until now, until I actually started properly using it. This one was actually quite fun to use, to be fair. <laughs> okay, I need to take that guy out up there. I can target him from here, maybe. Maybe not. Look at all these sheep on here. Roger Dox Ferris came here and saw all the robots were turned into sheep. I wonder what his reaction would be. Ratchet did this. He'll know exactly who had done it, though, so, yeah. Oh god, he's still alive. Fine, I'll turn you into a sheep. Get out of here. I just hurt a sheep. They're all nice and innocent when they turn into a sheep. When they turn into sheep. I got a feeling we're going to get attacked in a minute. I think there are more robots on on the way, so I best take these guys out quick. I've got a feeling we're, as there's a literally a mounted gun right here, I've got a feeling that we're going to get enemies coming from that way soon. At least I'm prepared for that. At least I think that's what's going to happen. It might not happen, but just in case, it's a critical hit. Yes, got him. Oh, they come from there instead. All right then. Let's get the sheepinator out. While the pro joins is killing those guys, I can use the sheepinator to kill them, or turn them into a sheep at least. Okay, 
Okay, let's refill all my ammo before we go any further. Let's get my Magna Buster fully upgraded. 100% complete. Let's see what else I can upgrade. All this. Let's get this fully upgraded too. Excellent. That is going to cause some real damage when we fight Dr. Nefarious. Okay, so when we head down there, we're going to encounter Captain Quark and Dr. Nefarious. I think I'll save that for the next episode. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. And keep updated with all the Ratchet and Clank episodes uploaded to my channel. And the next episode is going to be the finale when we stop Dr. Nefarious. Hopefully get Captain Quark back on our side. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.